Making the perfect pizza pie only happens when you have the perfect ingredients. Well, that's what a local chef is hoping for when he opens his new pizzeria in Gross Point Park. As 7 Eyes News reporter Simon Chowdhury showed, shows us, he picks his produce just 65 miles away. The Bricks Pizzeria in Gross Point Park will be opening up soon, and it's pretty obvious how they got their name. What's not obvious, how they get their food. Chef Trenton Chamberlain is inching closer to seeing his dreams come true, opening up a restaurant that is truly farm to fork. It's not just a, a buzzword. The Bricks Pizzeria is all about organic, locally grown food. In fact, most of their ingredients are from either their own farm in Metamora or locally sourced within a 100-mile radius. And they carefully craft their meals. We want you to feel like, you know, there was someone in the background in the back of this kitchen preparing this just for you. They will offer wood-fired Neapolitan-style pizza. And get this, it will take them 60 hours just to make the pizza dough. Milk our own grain in-house. We have a 1,800-pound uh, Osti roller from Austria. Their business model seems risky, but Trenton says it's important to make quality food while doing right by the local economy and environment. We need to take the risk in order to give the reward to the community. They will have a market so diners can take a taste of the bricks home with them, but they refuse to deliver their pizza. It's best when it's right out of the oven, so if it gets to you in 30, 45 minutes later, you're losing the qualities that we worked so hard. The rest the restaurant seats 100 people, and Trenton says it will be a fun, friendly place to be. Enjoy the pizza, the atmosphere. We have an arcade with eight games in it. Right now, they get about 80% of their ingredients from their farm. They're hoping to bring that number up to 95% in the next five to seven years. As you can see behind me, the workers are getting ready to open Friday, August 2nd. In Gross Point Park, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. Now I'm hungry. Ooh, can't wait to <laughs> yeah. try that. Simon, thank you. Coming up on 7 Action News, we are living with the Stanley Cup. And earlier in the show, we asked if you agree with President Trump's new proposal that would cut 3 million people off food stamps, and those results are in. 54% of you voted yes, 46% of you voted no. As always, we thank you for weighing in. We'll be right back. Almost every home here has sustained damage. We're glad you're okay. Oh, thank you. You could hear the gunfire. Around the corner here are the children. Back on the job. Back in the job. How are you? ABC's How you World News Tonight with David Muir is America's most watched newscast. Well, tonight there's a Stanley Cup celebration at M1 Concourse in Pontiac. And the guest of honor is Bloomfield Hills native Mackenzie McEckern, who plays for the St. Louis Blues. Yeah, our Brad Galley joining us live with more on tonight's big event, Brad. Mackenzie McEckern made a big name for himself at Michigan State. He grew up in Troy, and here's his dad, Ron, announcing to everybody here that his Stanley Cup winning son is about to bring the biggest prize in hockey right back here. And as they pull into this center in this celebration, you're never going to see a bigger St. Louis Blues celebration in our state of Michigan. For a young guy who grew up watching the Red Wings, Mackenzie McEachern grew up at Brother Ice, went to Michigan State, took his chance, left a year early, and made his mark with the Blues this season. He has spent the day at Children's Hospital. He took it to his trainers, taking it to young high school athletes that have grown up in the area just like him. And you can see here, filled with family and friends, a bunch of people are here to celebrate him. We'll step outside and show you. Here comes Mackenzie in the cup in this big party bus. So cool to see these local guys do it. If the Red Wings aren't going to do it, you at least hope somebody from our hometown will win the Stanley Cup. Mackenzie, a big part of the effort on the practice rank as he was one of the guys that was one of the reserves as they came and won the cup. And as they play Gloria here and the cup rolls in, as we get a little bit of a delay here as they get through the traffic at M1. So special for so many of his family members and some of the young ones here. Look at the faces here, Dave, of everybody that's excited. Can you give us a big wave and cheer for Mackenzie? Woo! Gotta love it. When you see everybody gather like this, it almost reminds you just how special that the Stanley Cup is. Yes, it has names on it of the guys and the women that are behind the scenes winning this cup, but the guys on the ice know how important family is to win in this deal as well. Let's go over here and get Mackenzie as he comes off the bus with the cup. Mackenzie McEachern, a Stanley Cup champion with the St. Louis Blues. Can we come on the bus? He wants to be the last one. He's a humble guy. 
but we've got about 20 seconds to talk. Matt, good to see you, man. There's his older brother, Matt, who grew up in the area, works here with him. He's got family and friends, his sister Molly, who's on TV. Good to see you, congratulations. The cup should be coming any second. Mackenzie McEachern, our hometown guy, the Michigan State product who went to Brother Rice, grew up in Troy. He's got family and friends waiting with Lord Stanley. Where's the big man himself? That's not him. <laughs> the St. Louis Blues won the cup and the hometown flair that comes with it. Here we go. Here comes the cup. What's up, Thomas? Mackenzie McEachern, our Stanley Cup champion. That is what it is all about. Join us on Action News at 6. We'll talk with Mackenzie live. We'll see you guys in a little bit.